Hey everybody, this is GTF, and it's time for another I Played a Thing. If you didn't notice the title drop there, this is Guardian of Paradise. It's a little Zelda-esque adventure exploration kind of game, and it's made by Buster. Same dude who brought us Akuji the Demon, the wonderful little Castlevania homebrew spoof. Yeah, let's call it a spoof, I guess. It's the closest one. What? And here we have pretty much the only story, like, serious story cutscene in the game. And that's our plot. You're a dude. You have silly purple hair. You have a sister. She has space aids. Go fix it. There, that's the plot in a nutshell. So let's go do that. And there's not a lot of people to talk to in this game, and that lady's a douche. Just rubbing it in her face that your sister's got space aids. Real sensitive there. Right, and for the most part, talking to people in this game is not really important, but I'm going to do it anyway, just for... So you can actually see what these mooks say. There's only, like, two towns in the whole game anyway. And these are the know-it-all brothers. Only one of them is useful. That's the youngest. So notice the first two, who were supposed to know everything, didn't really do shit to help us. Also, it kind of helps that I have to... Well, I don't have to talk to everybody, but there's... Right now, there's a couple people I have to talk to. Versus the little girl here. And you're going to see why I did... Why I went and spoke to her. And that's because there's fucking guards at the front of the, at the town, and they won't let me leave until I get the elder's permission. And that was the status screen. You have no inventory to maintain, really. It's kind of there more as a pause feature than anything else. And now the elder's back in, and look at that look at that beard and mustache thing he's got there. I'm not sure, it kind of looks like he's got a walrus cut. Yes, it's an actual style of mustache, people. I was, I was thinking of growing one myself, actually, but uh, I'm gonna stick with what I have. Now the guards are on my way, I can move, and we've been given our first destination, really. Is that something cool in the east that the know-it-all kid is gonna tell us to do. As you, notice, we, as you notice, we have jack squat right now. We've got nothing to spend our MP on, that's what happens when you take a hit, and we've got nothing to kill these mushrooms with. They're kind of adorable, aren't they? And our first horrendous block ever. No, no, what do we do? Push them out of the way. Yeah, get used to pushing blocks around. This game is pretty much about finding out how to solve the puzzle on the frame that will allow you to progress. And if you screw up, just leave the frame and come back. That's at least the one nice thing about the game, is that there is, like, any puzzle that is, like, blocking your path is self-contained. You, you do not have to worry about it throughout, you worrying about multiple frames, like, having to hit a switch all the way on one side of the dungeon to unlock a door on all the, on the complete opposite side. Oh, by the way, we have a sword. Now we can kill shit. Yeah, get used to these little item get screens. You're going to be seeing them a lot. For the same items over and over again, but we'll burn that bridge when we get there. As I was saying, yeah. Like, the solution to a puzzle is going to affect the door on that frame. You never have to worry about doing shit all the way long distance, like in Zelda or East. You never have to worry about that. But now we can kill shit, and here's how we restore our health. Cutting down plants and finding apples and trees. We can also find cheese and meat. Tree meat. Best kind of meat you can get. You know where else you can get tree meat? Dark Savior. Shameless plug there. And pretty much, I'd like to note right now, it's very hard to die in this game. You have to suck really badly. Nothing in the game does more than one point of damage. And as you can see, you go flying away from them, and you have a very large stun time. Let's call it that. I mean, it's pretty easy to get through this game. As, as you'll find out, there are heart containers to extend your life bar. You are stuck with 9 MP for the entire game. You never get more than that. Puzzles revolve around you figuring out how to solve the puzzle within you know, within only 10, uh, 9 MP. 
and here's our first next type of roadblock. Door with, door with a keyhole. So we're gonna need to find something to pick that thing open with. Probably a key. I don't know. Just a guess. And this is a somewhat another common room you're going we're going to be encountering throughout this game. Kill them all. Just kill everything you see. Now let nothing survive. And the door will open for you. Feel free to start singing the genocide song in these rooms if you feel like it. And here is another here's a nice little poser of a block puzzle. It's not exactly the easiest thing to throw at you right at the beginning of the game here. But I'm gonna give you a little time to figure this one out. I'm gonna walk around a bit, take a see, take a look and see if you can figure out how we are supposed to push these blocks around. Obviously, we have to hit all three switches, so these blocks have to cover two. Have you figured it out? No? Huh? Huh? Ah! Uh, come on! Come on! Well, oh, here's how you do it. You might not see it at first, I'm going to admit, this is kind of tricky to throw as out as the, like, third block puzzle of the game. But, that's what you gotta do. You have to leave the space open to get in there and push the block over onto the bottom switch. And Sam! 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 I got a key. Sam! I got the key. That was my shout-out. Shut up. I know you're thinking it, and yeah, this is something I hate. Uh, one thing I hate about the game is if you get hit, if you get, you can get thrown off into the next frame, but through your hits done. Oh well, it's not that big of a deal, but still. Now that we can have the key, now we have the key, we can use the key like that, and we can move on. So now we have a branching path to pick which way we need to go. The game is actually very linear, despite exploring it. Despite being about exploration, everything, you know, you have to take everything in order. You know what, let's go this way. Uh, no, never mind, I'm sorry, that was the wrong way. Yeah, it turns out, wrong way. Up that way, door door with a key on it. So we gotta go find that key. Yeah, I'm saving you the embarrassment of completely going through the wrong way. So let's just, so when we actually do go that way for real, let's just pretend the puzzle was right. Let's just pretend the puzzle hasn't been solved yet. These things are kind of a, those spitting plants are kind of annoying. We're going to be seeing a lot of them, though. And the trolls are another little thing. So far, there really is no point to killing anything right now, unless it's to open a door. I'm really just getting, killing them to get them out of my fucking way. But killing enemies is uh, actually quite a core of the gameplay. As well, you'll see when we get or start getting our magic. But long story short, I might as well explain it now. Is that you only have one type of magic accessible at any given time, and you change what type of ma what element magic you're using based on what you've just killed. Puzzles are going to revolve around this fact. A lot of the like a lot of puzzles. The very, it's not nothing in this game is is like brain rapingly hard to figure out, but some of the stuff is actually very cleverly made in my opinion. So it's I find it very easy to just hop in there and whatnot. Well, as you see, we, the hint mint there told us exactly how to solve this one, and guess what? Sam got another key. Okay, and we're back here because I saved you the backtracking. Unfortunately, that if you don't like backtracking, yeah, that is a problem, because although a, a switch puzzle won't affect something all the way on the other side of the world, key items can. And there would have been a door there, but as you can see, you push the button that we just passed and it opens. Yeah, puzzles are not that hard here. Heart container, can't get that yet. We will soon, though. And here we go. Okay. Yeah, it'd be great if I spared you, like, three minutes of getting all the way here, finding out I need a fucking key. And here we go. We're gonna hit the little ball thing. This it has eyes that matters here. It's kinda creepy. And for some reason, the rolling physics just didn't want to cooperate with me right there. Get up there. Keep going. You might want to 
Don't be an idiot here. Just try cutting down the plants first, and then hitting the damn ball up there. What? It wasn't a ball at all. Ah, that was a forest spirit we were told to go get, wasn't it? And so, blah, 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 a little more plot. We're gonna plot this little thing's going to go help me, and oh my god, it's so cute, I have diabetes right now. I didn't just say that. Right, anyway, this is a quick rundown of how the magic system works, blah, 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 read that if you feel like it. I'm cutting it off here, so this has been Guardian of Paradise, I'm GTF, see ya.